You are listening to BeExposedRadio.com. What's up, what's up, what's up? Can you hear me? Hey, what's up? This is Nate, host of the Artist Exchange Radio Show, here live on this very cool, drizzly, drizzling. I sound staticky. Saturday. Maybe it's just my headphones. It sounds static. We're here hear live. Static too? We hear static. We're here live. Let's, let's do it. We're here okay. live on the Artist Exchange on BeExposedRadio.com. How's everyone doing, Miss Alma Brown? I'm doing all right this morning. I, um, she got her hair wrapped up in her doobie rag. My baby, my son is coming home. Oh, he hasn't been home? No, he has, he's been he's been gone since Tuesday. He's been in West Virginia with his uncle and my mom. Why is this child traveling more than and me? He travels more than me, and I brought him here. Wow. So, <laughs> I'm not mad, though. He spent the last week with his cousin, who's three months older than him, but is looks like he's two years older. Right. And um, that was... I have some cute videos I'll show you later. Aww. And they'll probably, probably post some on my Facebook if my brother agrees. But um, he, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to him coming home. But Kenyon and I have enjoyed not having a child in our house this last week. It's been wow. real. Robbie's here with us. <laughs> Robbie is here with us. Robbie! And he has his bandana on. We're so glad you're back. <laughs> Welcome back. How was your week, sir? What happened? What was that, sir? Hey, well, what happened? So, so what? He's back. What? Yeah, it's so, so static. What that he's back. I can't understand you. Can you hear me? I, I can't I, hear, can you. hear you. Me. I just can't you understand can hear me. you. You can hear me. That's money. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. So oh, what hey, money. So what? Hi, Monty. How's it going? How's your day going? Oh, did he just hang up? I think so. Give us a call, 410-702-5657, or you can text us in your anonymous questions or comments to 443-642-9403. That's how everybody does everything now, anonymously. No one puts their name on anything. The Mm. internet has made the world so... Well, I'm glad they got rid of that feature on Facebook because that was getting some. Oh, the anonymous questions. Yeah. Yeah. That was getting a little um, odd and yeah. awkward because sometimes you can figure out who it is. Mm. I only ever had one person send me something, and the question was, "What was it? It was something that I do. Oh, oh, why do you have so many misspelled words in your posts?" And I'm like, well, because I don't spell well. I never have. Are you getting paid to monitor the <laughs> grammar on my page? <laughs> oh, it's these. This thing here has got me all, but I can't because the hair is yeah. up high, so it's got the headphones askew, so it's throwing everything else off. Oh also my gosh. joining us is Miss Jasmine. A. How's it going today? Good. She'll be uh, with us this summer, learning work. Oh. Already on your first day. <laughs> it's okay. I did. That's my fault. I was trying to get her to pull it closer so she didn't have to lean. So today, um, I just had some interesting. First of all, a continuation from yesterday, my rant on public transportation. Mm. I'm not a public transportation person. Mm. I watched like four people get cussed out yesterday, and three of them was on my way home from here. Wow. It's right here. If I tilt it upward, it's going to slip, slide. I don't... You can say words. I don't, <laughs> Position it the way this one is. It is. See how I'm talking directly into the mic? You're not. You're talking in the top of the mic. I'm right here. Like, I can see it right here. If you're going to talk like that, then that's fine. And that's how I normally talk. No, you're down. talking up here. I'm talking up here. Mm-hmm. This is a one-on-one class with Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> We get it. We get it. <laughs> you would have to say something for it to be good. Listen, people, these two these two need their own sitcom. I cannot I am always in Well if Monty brings talk lately back, I'll come on this show and we can argue for like the whole hour. Yes, I'll do it. That's entertainment. Because y'all are But funny. that's only if he brings talk lately back. Maybe maybe two thousand sixteen. <laughs> so today, like I said, uh, yesterday I, I um, 
watched three people get cussed out on my way home because of the whole bus money thing. So apparently they advertised it. I didn't know. Yeah. I never seen it. I watched it. I did. I knew a couple weeks beforehand. But they a had, couple weeks is still not. They, ha- I mean, I knew the the day I started because you know I only just started riding the bus again like mm-hmm. a, like three weeks ago when the car, <clears throat> unfortunately, busted. right, pretty much. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I saw that was one of the first things I saw was their little thing that they had at the top of the bus that the the rates were going up. I was like four dollars for a day pass. That's but crazy. But you know, like I was telling you yesterday, I suspect that we are paying to keep the, the Charm circulator City, yeah. free. Oh, absolutely. Because they were going to charge people to get on a circulator, but I think it was a thing of, uh, we shouldn't do well, that. Well, then I'm for it. If that's going to keep the circulator free, I'm for that. Yeah. Increase the bus fare. Why not? That's because she's not riding the bus. <laughs> and the sir, for me, it is the service that you get as a rider, it does not warrant $4. So here's, here's, here's. here's but that's because never you're not. One time, they never one time. But if you utilize the buses all day long yeah you make your four dollars work for you it is not it for me that's a scheduling problem with the people no it's not a scheduling problem because there's a schedule that they go by no i'm saying a scheduling problem with the people if you make your four dollars work for you make your appointments all in one day where that four dollars will run you all day long Mm. then you wouldn't have to you wouldn't be arguing about it because then you wouldn't have to i mean explain that to me if i make my that's my day anyway if i get on the bus I'm scheduled. I scheduled myself, mm-hmm. and I'm going based on the schedule. But you probably do that. Right. Do most people do that, or do they push all their meet, their uh, appointments all through the week? I mean, and then they got to pay four dollars every day. But if but at the <laughs> but if the and bus then they mad right because if the, it ain't three fifty. I no mean, more. but if well, you catch the, the bus, that's the that's how you that's your transportation. Even if even if you do do th- plan your time as wisely as possible, the way right. that Monty is suggesting. You are at you are at the mercy of the traffic and how that particular bus driver is driving their route. Right. Shabur. Not all bus Shabur. drivers are equal Shabur. and not and traffic will I agree with you. I agree with you there. I can take but traffic. I can't if take you a, a take, differential bus driver. If you say for <laughs> instance you'll you, get paid to do that. Your week is gonna be five days a week, okay? Mm-hmm. Say for instance that's what your week is. Because that's what I have to I have to take it every day. I don't have any choices. Right. I buy the weekly pass because that makes the most sense for me. Which is $22 a change now. Right. $22. Okay. For weekly pass. Okay. Went from 14 to $22. Yeah. Oh, so, that went up. Well, that's not the big increase. Yes, that that's part. a huge increase. Yeah. No, well, it was 16 to 22. Was it 16? Yeah, Maybe it was 16. 16. Yeah, 13 with James. It used to, yeah, I remember when it was 14, though. Yeah. Yeah. But my issue is I don't mind paying $4. If but the you're, bus also, service, you're also paying in advance, basically, for the construction of the red line. They're not doing the They're red line. The red line. We're not getting the red they line. They got shot no, down. The yesterday, the signs are still up all over Route 40 mm, come in well, 2020. That was a part of the um, the update on the news this last week. Like he's Oh, he's they said it last it. week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's denying it. Yeah. Hogan. Yeah. yeah. He can he... break down. No, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> I Sheila will say Dixon this. for governor. <laughs> Sheila Dixon Seriously. for governor. I'm I think, last half full. <laughs> I think that um, Balt- I think the red line is that was a... Insensitive. I apologize. The, it's, the red line for me, it's like... It's like giving a fifth grader a, a kindergarten book to read. Like, it's really not adequate. You're not, it's not enough. You need to do, if you're going to do something, you need to do a large scale project that solves the problem across the board. First of all, there are solve too the many problem buses. that we already have. Solve the subway system that we have. Right. Solve the light rail system. There that are we way have. too many and buses. Then, well, it is, I mean, really, the city is that big. People don't know Baltimore is really that it's big. Huge. And it, we need buses. Because there are a lot of pockets in the city. So that here's, need. but I mean, like, if we create a an underground system that goes all over the city, that would cut the number of buses That's we what need. The subway is. But the subway only go, you know, it, it's re- right. It's really, really inadequate. It's I mean, if they just extend it, they have the tunnels. They said the the infrastructure is there. They just have to create the system for see it. the more i hear the more i talk about this to people and the new shit i learn the madder i get why yeah. in the hell have we not just do you know, like the jobs the it creates the congestion it alleviates it just makes sense to do it just do it 
Just but it's, do it. it's money. But now I have to pay extra for you to do what you should have been doing. You could do with doing. that $15 million win, windfall money from the tickets, the, tic- the picture tickets, oh. the red light cameras, all that money. Take that money and put it into building a Well, if they didn't have the to pay cars, so much money back for wrongfully, wrongfully charging, charging people, people yeah, that, they, that probably thing. would have worked. <laughs> that whole thing was so stupid. But I, I don't, I, for me, the bus system is not adequate for you to charge me four dollars to for it to possibly get better. Right. So now they don't have the the they used to have the little boxes with the schedule. So now is a way that you can text in and get the accurate number. Now right. the buses have been getting better with the timing. I think because it's like a monitor on each bus, so you know when they're coming. Right. And I think that's why they did it, because the schedule, they wasn't abiding by the schedule. So now we got to deal with bus drivers with attitude. Yeah. And that, I, don't, I, I, I shouldn't feel like, because you late, if I ask you, is this the time that the bus come? He went off on me, and because I just put $4 on the bus, I'm going to go off. Because I feel like I pay for my service. Right, you're not getting a raise, sir. So this this not part of your raise package. <coughs> this is supposed to better. But I the guess system. so. With that, with, with what you just said, is the circulation still every 15 minutes? The circulator runs like not magic. the circulator. The circulation of the bus. Do they still? Come They're supposed every 15 to. They're supposed to. But like, how, what time did I? We left out of here. What? I, what? We got to the bus stop. What? Like At, quarter to ten. Qu- yeah, and I w- we were there till ten thirty. But, I, 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 but the don't line. they slow down after eight o'clock? No, they shouldn't. I, I mean, don't but know no, that like for sure. the most of them do. Yeah. But there's still major buses, like the five, the ninety-one buses, like that. They still run all throughout yeah, the night. I yeah, and I, I think the thirty-six is one of those. Years ago, I mean, years ago. <laughs> after weird. ten o'clock, they would slow down. I mean, after eight o'clock, they would slow down, down to every half hour. I know the bus that I um, the bus that I take the the thirty six that one is the only one that goes all the way down Washington Boulevard so that one runs really really late and starts very early in the morning just the only one that goes that way so I I, I don't know how often yeah, I mean it makes sense because I, that's what I was telling Nate if I don't leave right at nine o'clock I'm standing on the corner till ten thirty waiting on a bus and it's for me I I just think they should instead of just okay we're going put the fare increase in and then that's going to help every but it's not like the bus is still breaking down they still slow like it's i don't know what we're paying for and i went to a couple of those like town hall meetings by mistake i didn't know what i was really in i thought it was something related <laughs> yes, to station yes. or but they had like town hall meetings like at micah and a few other places and it was just why why are we being charged so much for the bus service and yeah I don't want to stay the same. I personally think that um, there needs to be. Oh, we'll be right back here on the Artist Exchange live on BeExposedRadio.com. Don't go anywhere. Sorry, but that was just a snippet of the show. But you can listen to the show in its entirety every Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 12 noon on BeExposedRadio.com.